Have you heard about the recent case involving Denver Broncos player Parrish Cox, who has been charged with sexual assault? That's our discussion on today's episode of DSP TV. He looks softly in the eyes and asks, her, Can I kiss you? Mind if I kiss you? Can I kiss you? Mind if I kiss you? Can I kiss you? Yes, we have a case involving an NFL player who has been charged with sexual assault. He has been charged. Charged! That means the police and the prosecutor believe they have enough evidence to prosecute. So why am I stressing this? Because often when these cases occur, people like to say, these are just allegations. As if somebody just walked into the police department, filed a report, and charges were made. Well, that's simply not how it works. When this was reported was well over a month ago, which means between it being reported and the police filing charges, they had to look into the case and to see if there was a case that they would prosecute. Now, let me also be very clear. Sexual assault cases being prosecuted can be rare. So when a district attorney chooses to prosecute, it typically means they feel there's a lot of evidence to help them win this case with a jury. So am I trying to imply that Parrish Cox with the Denver Broncos is guilty of this crime. No, I can't make that statement. There has been no trial. Why doesn't the NFL just say that in a felony crime, when charges have been pressed against one of their players, guilty or innocent, due to the fact that every player is a spokesperson for the NFL to some degree, they're going to sit that player. I'm not even saying that not to pay the player. Just sit the player. They could do their own investigation in addition to the criminal investigation, such as they did with the Ben Roethlisberger case, which occurred out of season, and they took action when season started back up. So this is during the season. So take action during the season. When you wait like this, it looks like the NFL doesn't really care about this issue. It looks like the Ben Roethlisberger case now was just a PR move by the NFL. Instead of saying that this, they actually care about how their players handle issues such as sexual assault, treatment of women and partners. For instance, Parrish Cox, right after he got out of jail, played the next game. Oh, oh, forgive me, he didn't start. That was his punishment. I bet that just ruined it for him, even though he got in a few minutes later and played the rest of the game. Come on, let's take this serious. Let's create serious consequences. And by the way, if the NFL doesn't have rules that allow them to do this, let the team do it. Let the team say this is conduct it's detrimental to the team. We've seen them do this for other things. For heaven's sakes, if a player doesn't listen to a coach, the coach can bench him for being detrimental to the team. How about detrimental to the team for what this case is doing for the Denver Broncos? Sit the player. That's it. It's that simple. That's this week's edition of DSP TV. Tell us what you think. Also, email us what you'd like us to talk about in the future. And thanks for joining this episode of DSP TV. And remember, Go to our website at datesafeproject.org and see us on Facebook at facebook.com slash datesafeproject. Have a great day.